Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres. Book Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Fernando Tatis Jr. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Hey, no one down here. Kicks and fires. Bounce to third. He sends it across to first, and Polanco is out. Batting second, the shortstop, JP. One out, runner at second. Gerald Payton, the next to hit. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here we go, one time, right now, let's go. This ball's chopped to the ground. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. First and second, one out. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. So two down, and now the catcher comes up to hit. Luis Campusano. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hanniger has a beat on it. Brings it in for the third out. Padres leave a pair. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, the first baseman. Ty France. Ty France. And here it comes. On the ground to third. Throw over to Cronenworth. One up, one down. Batting eight. The third baseman. Now batting. Third baseman. Gerald Hayden. Stock center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Up next to the Padre. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you Strike three, got him swinging. That's the third out, inning over. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now batting, third baseman, Gerald Hayden. Ah. 
Well struck, deep right field, way back, and out of here! He powers that one out of here. His seventh home run of the season. And that's how they take the lead. It's 3-0. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach, you'll hit for a high average as well. Next for the Padres, Gerald Hayden. Certainly a factor in this one thanks to his three-run blast back in the fifth. Well, definitely one of the most impactful swings of the game. A big reason why they're working with the lead and looking to add to it right here, Boo. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the okay. inning. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. So two on with two away. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that chance handled. The throw to first, and they take care of Tatis for the out. An acrobatic play to end the inning. Padres leave a pair, but they lead it 3-0. Runner at first with two away. Gerald Hayden, the next up for the Padres. He's already homered in this game. There we go. And fouled off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Gone. Ball game. Another homer. And the Padres walk it off for the win. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard and creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Hate with a game to remember, particularly walking it off for the win. A four-hit performance, including a pair of homers. This is the kind of game he'll never forget. He was a force all game long at the plate, and won the game on a walk-off. This was a really special performance. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.